I have never experienced hate like this as a non-Christian. It's true. It really is true. Christians are the number one most hated group on the planet. I myself have been insulted, ignored, mistreated, snubbed, mocked, silenced, and canceled because of my faith. And I live in North America, and I experience at least one of those, at least one of those, every single day of my life. According to the Clarion Project, 100,000 Christians are killed every year. That's an average of 273 per day, 11 every hour. What other group experiences that much persecution? 100,000 a year, 100,000 brutally murdered in cold blood every year. That's not including those that are beaten, mocked, and those who've had their rights stripped away from them just because they are Christian. According to Open Doors, each year, 260 million Christians are persecuted for their faith in Jesus. What other group on the planet experiences that much persecution, that much hate? And then you get some goofs going, well, what about the Spanish Inquisition? Or what about the Crusades? And anybody that would raise such an objection is very ignorant of the fact that Christians were brutally murdered, dismembered, beat to death over a thousand years before those events ever even happened. So don't feed me that crap. In fact, persecution of believers has been going on since the very beginning, since Abel, all the way through the prophets, Isaiah was cut in half alive. Zechariah, brutally murdered right there in the temple. Many of the prophets were brutally murdered. Most of the apostles brutally murdered. Even Jesus himself brutally murdered on the cross. So don't feed me this. Look what you guys did during the Crusades. I did what? Here's the thing right here. There are certain groups in society today, if you say anything negative about them, you are labeled as a phobic. And you are criminalized because if you say anything negative about a certain group, well, you are feeding hate toward those people. And, and in feeding hate, you are propagating murder and all of these horrible things that people do to these people. Fine, you want to operate by those rules? You want to go by that standard? Let's play by those rules. Don't strain on a gnat and swallow an elephant here. If that's what you're truly all about, if you're truly all about justice and loving those who are mistreated, that you don't want to see people getting beaten up or killed because of anything, well, guess what? You ought to have Christianity, Bible-believing, Bible-practicing Christians on the top of your list. Because if you don't, you are way out of perspective. You better be screaming bloody murder over everybody that sheds a negative light on Christians. I'm talking about every movie producer, every actor, every music artist, every rapper, everybody that takes the name of the Lord in vain, that sheds any kind of negative light on Christianity. Even those who say Christianity is wrong. Using your own standards, because if Johnny Boy over here says that a certain group is wrong, then oh boy, you scream bloody hate. Oh, it's, it's hate, it's a hate crime. You better make sure that every single person that disagrees with or sheds a negative light on Bible-believing Christians are silenced and are canceled and are smeared as Christophobes. It's about time that people fighting for minorities and the hate hunters get on the backs of every single person who says anything wrong about the Christians on the street preaching the gospel of righteousness, repentance from sin, and belief in God. And if you don't believe that Christians suffer all kinds of mistreatments and, and, and insults, even in North America, in a so-called Christian society, I challenge you, on your social media, start posting Christian content, and you'll see how much love you really get.